I've got everybody, the kids and everybody, and after waiting in line for an hour to see the world premiere of this thing, I finally get up to the cashier to buy my ticket. <laughs> you know what? I didn't have my wallet with me. Talk about a letdown. Hey, wait a minute. Looks like we have a fuel imbalance. 600 pounds less on the left side at the moment, which is weird since the fuel flows have been equal since takeoff. World Travel 1392, contact Male Center now on 119.7. World Travel 1392, switching, thanks. Malay Center, World Travel 1392 with you level at 350. World Travel 1392, roger. It's possible that it's a fuel quantity gauge malfunction and not a real imbalance, but given the rate at which... Engine surge number one. That's the low fuel side. Disengage the auto throttle and bring the thrust lever back to idle. Engine failure number one. I'll call ATC. You squawk 7700, then we'll run through the checklist. Just keep flying. Molly Center, World Travel 1392 declaring an emergency. World Travel 1392, go ahead. Molly Center, World Travel 1392. We have an engine failure and a suspected fuel leak. We'll be unable to maintain flight level 350. Request an immediate descent. World Travel 1392, roger. Descend at your discretion to 10,000. Down to 10,000, World Travel 1392. All right, we've got an engine failure on the left-hand side. Make a normal descent to 10,000. With a possible fuel leak, restarting the engine could be a fire risk, so let's secure it. Ready for the checklist? Here we go. Engine failure shutdown checklist. Auto throttle, disengaged. Thrust lever, idle. Engine start lever, cut off. APU, start. APU generator, on. Engine failure shutdown checklist complete. Okay, let's look at our options here. We're about 90 miles north of Mali International, and we can easily make it there as long as the fuel leak doesn't cause additional problems. Hanumadu Airport is quite a bit closer to the north, but it's a short strip, so we run the risk of going off the runway if we try to land it there. It's your call, Captain. You can turn to the south to Mali, or turn north if you'd rather try for Hanumadu. World Travel 1392, roger. Proceed direct to Mali. Continue descending to 10,000 and use the nav display to head for Mali. Identifier, Victor Romeo Mike Mike.
surge. Number two, engine failure. Okay, now we have a problem. Turn on the fasten seatbelt sign. I'll call ATC. Molly Center, World Travel 1392. World Travel 1392, go ahead. Center, World Travel 1392. We now have two engine failures and a suspected fuel leak, so we'd rather not risk restarts. Looks like we're a glider from here on down. World Travel 1392, Roger. Proceed at your discretion. State number of souls on board. 155 souls, World Travel 1392. All right, Captain. Maintain 190 knots in the descent for best glide and let's secure this one. Engine failure shutdown checklist. Auto throttle, disengaged. Thrust lever, idle. Engine start lever, cut off. APU, start. APU generator, on. Engine failure shutdown checklist complete. I'll call the cabin. Yeah, hi. Uh, we're having a little trouble up here. <laughs> we have a fuel leak which has led to dual engine failures. We're well within gliding distance of Mali, so no need to panic. Yeah, I'll alert the passengers. Thanks. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is your uh, first officer speaking. We've experienced some engine problems related to the fuel system, and as a result, both engines have shut down. Now, due to the leak, we don't want to risk an in-flight start, so we're making an emergency diversion to Mali International Airport. A dual engine failure is a very unusual and highly unlikely occurrence, but we're currently well within gliding distance of Mali. Uh, it's a beautiful day, and air traffic control is giving us priority handling, so we should be on the ground shortly without any problems. We thank you for your cooperation in remaining calm, and ask you to please follow any instructions given to you by the flight attendants. We'll update you as we get closer to the airport. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we ask you to please return to your seats and remain seated for the duration of our flight with your seatbelts fastened. In preparation for landing, please make sure your seat backs and tray tables are in the upright and fully locked position. We'll be passing through the cabin to pick up any remaining service items and ask that you please stow all loose articles beneath your seats. We'll be reviewing the emergency landing procedures shortly. Thank you for your cooperation.
World Travel 1392. World Travel 1392 switching, thanks. Molly Tower, World Travel 1392, gliding down the visual for 1-8 with two engines out. World Travel 1392, roger. Your number one, runway 1-8, cleared to land. Emergency equipment is standing by. Good luck, sir. Cleared to land, World Travel 1392, thanks. Four miles from the runway now. Lower the landing gear, slowly add full flaps, and reduce speed to 140 knots for the approach. Almost there. Landing checklist. Landing gear, down. Flaps, set for landing. Lower the flaps. Landing checklist complete. Travel 1392, welcome to Mali. Emergency equipment is rolling. Nice job.